Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Happy Friday. We made it through the whole week and we didn't die. Yeah, it's probably not the best way to open up a video, but still, it's been a long week and I'm glad we're finally at the end of the weekend. We get to relax, chill out, do our favorite things, and hopefully, hopefully good things happen. So, I wanted to talk about something that I don't really think I've spoke about before. And that is where I stand in terms of the auditor, well, frauditors. We're, we're not going to put auditors and frauditors in the same uh, category because they're different, totally different things. And we know what a frauditor is and we know what auditors are. You know, at least some auditors, from, from what I could tell, are respectful. But it, the frauditors are the ones that just cause the problems. And that's that's... When I have a problem with. And on the other side, you know, back to blue and stuff like that. And I kind of wanted to give you an idea about my side, what I think, what's, um, you know, where I plan on going with this ultimately. So, first and foremost, I was just going to tell you, I do back to blue. I do. I do. I, I have no problem with the police. Um, like I said, I've been pulled over before. I've had a ticket before. Uh, no fingers have gone up my butthole. Uh, I have not been put in torture cuffs, which or the dungeon. Um, none of that. None of that. And I've I've dealt with the law. And I'll go ahead and first tell you, you know, I don't go out of my way to break the law. I don't have any complications with the law. I you know I, I feel like I'm obedient. I follow the rules, and I don't go after people. Now, now I do love being a troll. I do love being a troll. Don't get me wrong. Being a troll is fun. Being a troll is fun. And, you know, I used to not be like that, okay? Used to not be like that. Now, back in the day, if you would ask me if, you know, I was for the police or against the police, uh, I was a bleeding heart liberal. And, you know, now I consider myself more aligned in the middle I, I know the term but I can't get the term out for libertarian that's right you know I kind of consider myself a libertarian you know I see things on both sides right both sides I see and you know back then I would be like ah oh, fuck the police I had no reason to do that but you know when you're in that mentality you know, that's what you get taught. You're indoctrinated to be like, oh, d don't, you know, don't back the cops. The cops are bad. They're going to finger your butt. And that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. Now, do I know people that has problems with the law? Yeah, I definitely do. I do. I, I never understood it. I never understood, hey, why, sh why should I go out and just break the law just to do it? Um, it's just never been a thing to me. I, you know, I've never worried about it. I never had to go out with a camera to a public place and be like, oh, I got to test my constitutional rights. The, the only reason why you're doing that in the first place is to cause problems. Now, like I said, not all of them. Auditors can be fine. Again, Ironton Auditor, perfect example. Now, like I said, I don't know much about the Ironton Auditor outside of a few things, but from what I can tell, he's not bad. Um, and I've seen other auditors that's, quite frankly, good people. But you know what you're doing whenever you... And you, you could tell, as soon as the video starts, you know what's going to happen, right? You know you're going to call... That person's going to cause a problem. There's no reason to go and film things. You're not making a story. Even though they say they're filming a story. There's no story, okay? There's no story. You know, me walking to the post office filming everybody, that's not a story. You're not fucking writing or directing Casablanca. You're just not. You're not doing anything important. Yeah, it's important to have your rights. It's important for that, right? It's good. We like our First Amendment. But, just because you have the First Amendment protection doesn't mean you have to be a First Amendment dickhead, okay? And again, that's that's totally up to you. That's that's your thing. I mean, the, how I see it is whenever you get these people talking to cops the way they do, it's basically kind of like in school. You're playing tag. You're like, na 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 you can't catch me. 
the police can't really do anything, and they know that. So they're, you know, they're, they know the police are powerless, and they can't really do anything, so they act a fool to antagonize them, because they know there's not going to be much of a repercussion until they cross that line. And like I said, it's, it's just like a little elementary schooler playing tag, or you can't catch me, or I'm going to tattle on you. That's that's basically all it is. That's all it is. I mean, uh, to the full degree of it, that's exactly what it is. I mean, why would you be a, be afraid if you know nothing's going to happen to you? So you can act like a fool all you want. And most of these people, they go out there, and like I said, they, they want to make a scene. That's that's the thing. They want to make the scene. And, you know, it's worked out for people, okay? It's worked out for people. There There, there is... Obviously, there is a market for that, okay? There's a market for that. Not my thing. Not my thing. And uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about some stuff here in a bit. Um, but it's just not my thing, and I don't understand it, okay? And we talked about fraud editors uh, previously, but where I stand on things is, hey, don't call it, don't be a dickhead. Of course, I love my rights. I'm standing up for my rights. But I'm not going to be an asshole. I have nothing against the police. And like I said before, not all cops are bad. And that can be applied to any occupation you can think of. There's always going to be problems within the occupation. Just because 5 out of 100 police are scumbags doesn't mean the rest of the 95 cops that are left are bad. And, you know, they like to play it up. They like to play, oh, oh, all cops are bad. They're all out to get you. I have to get my camera. As soon as I see a cop, I need to get my camera out so I can, you know, stop these sneaky cops from jumping out of the bushes and tackling me and sticking their fingers up my butt. No, that's, that's not how it is in real life. It's not re how it is in real life. And the mainstream media... You only see the worst of it. That's all you see. You don't see the good things about it. Okay, doing good things doesn't give you clicks, right? Everybody wants to see bad news. Bad news is what makes, well, the media in a whole. And that's what's popular. Drama, that's popular. And that's kind of how these fraud editors are trying to you know, they say they're going to sue people. And, you know, that's that's stupid, too. Just because, you know, you want to be an asshole in public and somebody calls you out on it or takes up for themselves and you decide to run to the police. What kind of a person are you? You're a fucking hypocrite, one. Oh, no, he's coming after me because I threatened him. Blah, blah, blah. This is stupid. And you, you see it in a lot of the fraud editor videos. And this is crazy. I don't know how you could be like, hey, I'm, I'm going to wake up today. I'm going to take my camera out and I'm going to be a dick to that shop owner. Why? I don't know. I'm just making a story. But I don't answer questions. You're, you're fucking dumb to begin with. You're not proving anything. You're not. You're, you're, especially the ones that's like, oh, the case law. Oh, the case law. Put the case law in my butt. Uh, yeah, I'm saying a lot of things about sticking things in butts because, you know, I hear that a lot from fraud editors are like, oh, they're going to arrest you. And the first thing they're going to do is stick a finger up there and just, I've, you know, I've been pulled over maybe three times. You know, I never got a finger stuck in my butt. I, matter of fact, I don't know anybody that's had a finger stuck in their ass. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. But yeah, if you're wondering if I back the blue, yeah, I do, I do. I, I back the blue. I back the good cops. I don't back bad cops, but I don't back bad doctors, bad librarians, bad fast food people, bad drivers, bad gamers. I don't back that. You know, I like the good in people. I like to see the good. I don't like to look at the bad. And, you know, I'm, I've got problems mentally, and a lot of people make fun of that. Yeah, I have depression. I'm a doomer. I, you know, something happens. I'm like, fuck, I hate, I hate, I'm going to die. I'm going to commit suicide. All this stuff. That's just how I am. That's how I am. I've always been that way. I've got problems. But I don't go out to make somebody miserable. I don't want to make somebody, you know, feel awful. Like, at the end of the day, the person behind that badge, the good cops, 
you know, they are people just like you and I, just like you. No different. The only difference they have is they have a badge on and they carry a weapon. They try to enforce the law. And like I said, not all cops are bad. Don't don't even fucking say that. Uh, we can argue about that all day long. We can. And, uh, you know, I, I'm willing to die on that hill, okay? I'm willing to die on that hill. Um, things that are coming up, which is pretty cool, is uh, me and Chad, Legicator, uh, we are going to be training. I'm going to be training with me. He's going to teach me uh, how to box, how to fight, uh, help me lose weight for the wedding. Um we're going to document these things uh, the best we can. Uh, we're going to have some interviews with some of the police officers like McKnight, McKnight and a few others. Uh, you know, we're going to work together like within the town, like especially one of the things I'd like to do is, uh, and I said this before, you know, I'd like to show you guys Ironton, the whole community, the good parts of the community, because like I said, there is good parts of Ironton, but not all <laughs> is good. But that's that can be said at any city, like any place, any town. There's always a bad side of it. And I kind of want to show you guys the good things. Uh, the shops are great. Um, you know, the food's good. Uh, the people were really nice. Uh, most of the people in Ironton back to blue. They they love soldiers. They you know they love the United States. What can I say? And a lot of them's not for this whole drama, uh, fraud or shit. Nobody stands for it. Um, of course, the one, the people that's causing the problems are the ones that have problems with the law that can't stay out of trouble. They make a point to stay in trouble by doing stupid things, breaking the law, being one. If you don't break the law, nothing's going to happen to you. And we can talk about the racial thing, and I'm not, I'm not touching that. We're not touching that. I can tell you, like I said, how I see it, the media only shows the bad, the really bad, and they never show the good things. But, of course, there is a problem there, but I'm not touching that. We're not, we're just not doing it, okay? We're just not... Um, I don't want to lose subscribers. I, I want people to, you know, come here and have sa a safe place and not have to think about that kind of stuff. And that's that's just not the channel I'm going to be. Um, but my opinions is, like I said, good cops, bad cops. Same with any occupation. Um, you do have the mainstream media stirring things up, obviously. That's, that's a problem. That's a real big problem. Uh, the narrative out there is all cops are bad. Defund the police. Um, they're going to kill you. That's just totally not the case, in my opinion. And we can we, we can disagree, okay? We can disagree. And you have your right to disagree with me. That's, that's fine. And, you know, I, I'm not going to be mad at you if you don't like my opinion. I'm not. You're allowed to have that. And I'm glad you're here voicing that because that's important. That is important to voice your opinion on how you feel. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong. That's, again, that's not my place to do that. Um, that is what you believe, okay? Don't let somebody tell you otherwise. Like, if, if you feel so strongly about something, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. Just don't be a fucking dickhead about it, okay? Don't be a dickhead about it. That's that's all I ask. Uh, with this channel uh, going forward, I mean, still, we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun um, with the training stuff, with the fight. Uh, Sweetie said he's coming back to town to fight. Not to Ironton, but... It, well, actually, he said he wants the papers faxed to him, but he's a pussy. We don't know that. He's not coming back. But if he does, he's in for a rude awakening whenever, yeah, it's it's just going to be fun. We'll, we'll just see if his ego matches his persona. Well, is that the same thing? What? Well, whatever. It's it's a thing. But, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, feel free to check it out. I posted a couple things in the community tab. Especially I made this little funny picture with sweetie you guys seen that it's, it's funny to me um but yeah if like i said 
we're going to kind of document things um, and have fun. And, you know, I would like to reach out to you guys um, and ask you what you want. Um, obviously, um, this isn't just my channel. And, you know, it's really cool. What gives me a lot of hope. I, I, I take a look at Social Blade and uh, look at future projections. And it just makes me so happy to see that. Um, hopefully we continue on this upwards momentum. Uh, hopefully you guys are with me when I get married, uh, whenever we get our new place together. I, I hope you guys are with us while we're training. Uh, you know, we'll continue going after people, but deserves to be going after. But I just want you guys to know that you are in a good place. Uh, I want to take care of you guys the best I can. Um... I want to be a part of the community. If you guys could see if Mass Hall Report, uh, Blue Bacon, which Blue Bacon, I believe he did say uh, we can work something out. Uh, I would like to get on panels with these guys and kind of get closer within the community and do some other streams, uh, talk with uh, people like Josh Abrams, stuff like at Great Lakes. Um, I, I'd like to get their feedback. Uh, obviously, they're on two different sides of the aisle here, and I'm not here to cause problems. Uh, with these people, um, they seem to be working pretty well with Mass Hole, and I appreciate that. Um, but we got a lot of growing to do, a lot of fun. Uh, but if you're wondering what side I'm on, I am the si on the side of the Blue Line Brigade. Actually, they call me... <laughs> I had a friend call me a Hill Jack Bootlicker. Just because I don't hate cops. And it's just how it is. But I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Maybe this weekend. Never know. But uh, I'll see you soon.